course I'm upset. Why wouldn't I be? He should. <sighs> no one's love should come with conditions. No one's love should come with strings. Because that's not what love is. It, 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 it's meant to be unconditional. Anyone who says that you have to do X, Y, and Z in order for them to love you doesn't love you. And honestly doesn't deserve you in their life. I know. And you, and you know me. I want to give people the benefit of the doubt forever. I want to say that anyone can change and be better and get better and become better. But if he said if if he said that and that's exactly what he said, then I I don't know if I can believe that. I think I think this is a line where you're like, this person's toxic. And I'm not gonna bring anything but pain, sadly. Which I know I know it's not what you want you don't want to hear that at all. You want to hear the opposite. You want to hear, you know, to not give up hope and that he might get better one day and he'll, he'll like figure out what he's losing, what he's missing, but I don't think so. There's this like really good story about a lifeguard. Um, so there's this woman and she is She's really confident in everything in her life, and she's driving this car, and it goes off the road into the water, and the car rolls underwater, and it starts filling with water, and she thinks she's going to die, but she, um, when she exhales, she realizes the bubbles are floating up, so she swims up and swims to the surface and, and survives, and after that, she becomes a lifeguard because she never wants to feel weak in the water ever again and the first lesson they teach her is that you can't save everyone there are some people who are just going to thrash and bring other people down with them and if you jump in to save them you'll drown too so sometimes you have to know which people you can save and which people you can't I think it's one of those kind of situations. Because I know you, I know you love him, and I know you, I know you want what's best for him, even if he treats you terribly. Even if he's not great to you, you still love him. You still care about him. Because you love unconditionally. You love like you're supposed to. But he doesn't, and he isn't. He has conditions and rules that if you violate this thing that you should be getting for free automatically it's taken away unfairly that's unhealthy that's abusive it's it's controlling and he's just gonna bring you down with him I don't want you to drown because he's not worth drowning over not even a little bit and I know that's hard to see and it's hard to hear but it's true I love you. I don't, I don't even want what's best for you. I'm just telling you what I think you should do. But at the end of the day, you have to make your choices. You have to do what you think is best. I can only say so much. I can only do so much. I can't live your life for you. All I can do is point your head in a direction and say, I think this is the way to go. But I'm not the one walking. I think I can't remember the definition exactly but someone told me that love is to be validated, heard, and seen by a person completely I think that's true, I think that's important I think what love is is seeing, hearing, and validating another person just as they are because we should love people as they are because we shouldn't expect them to change people will change 
Things will change over time. Time changes us. Events change us. And sometimes the company we keep will change us too. But we should never hedge on it. We should never bank on it. Because banking on it will lead to disappointment. We can't decide the way a river flows. It will only flow from the mountaintop to the to was it the sea or the ocean? <laughs> there was something like that. No, rivers change over time. We just don't live long enough to see that. Yeah, the path of they flow the path of least resistance or something. It's something like that. <laughs> something insightful and meaningful. I love you too. I know. I wish I could be more helpful. Yeah. You can come here and just relax. I don't have to talk about it anymore. I just... <sighs> Hearing it got me so heated. I was just like, God. Because you don't deserve it. I don't think anyone deserves that. There are people in our lives that we put a lot of stock in, you know? That's like teachers and parents and, you know, people that are around us during these formative years, these years when we're young and vulnerable. And their opinions and their view of us matters greatly, even when we're no longer young and vulnerable, you know? So, I understand. I understand why it hurts. And you're allowed to hurt. No, I... Your feelings are valid. They are. Because you are valid. Just don't forget that. <laughs>